everybody, John Cottrell here, and this is Power Hour. So if you're gonna be joining us, welcome. We'll be starting in a few minutes here. If you're watching on the live stream here, we're gonna be doing core work today. So grab a towel, you might need a blanket, a block, anything that you might wanna to use to help enhance your practice today. And we'll be starting shortly. So thanks for being here. Right, let's go ahead and begin. Let's start in mountain pose. So I invite you to stand near the top of your mat with your feet about hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. Just to establish a good foundation for yourself and awareness of alignment, in the, especially in the lower half of your body from the waistline down, just for a few seconds here. And you're certainly welcome just to stay in this posturing with the feet and legs. But if you need to or want to, feel free to take the feet out a little wider, even turn the feet out a little bit, just so it feels a little bit more comfortable and natural in your hips, your knees, your ankles. So just being aware of your joints. And however you're standing, just being sure there's an even distribution of weight on both feet. You feel centered, you feel tall. And as you're establishing this connection, feeling grounded, Take a few deep breaths. Slow, deep breaths, just to feel your whole body and mind arrive. using these breaths to help you move deeper within, connecting. Allowing the things that are going on outside of you to remain outside so that you can move in closer to yourself. Creating a deeper connection with self. In our practice today, we're going to be really focusing on our center body, our core. So let's just bring some awareness, some attention, some energy to that space as we begin our practice. As you're still standing in mountain pose, just take a nice full breath in, just fill up your lungs. Nice expansive breath. And as you exhale, draw your navel inward toward your spine, just this light engagement or contraction of your abdominal muscles. Again, as you inhale, just feel the lengthening in your spine, breath rising to fill up your lungs. Your exhale here to draw belly in, finding your center, engaging the abdominal lock. With that engagement, it, again, it just mean, brings you closer to self, helps with centering, helps you to be still and in the moment. Soon the breath will help you to move you and guide you and that connection to center will give you the energy to move. Just hold in stillness for a few more moments. Go ahead and take three more slow, deep breaths, now preparing your body to move. When you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Reach and stretch nice and high. And exhale, let's fold forward so a good hinge from your hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to as you slowly and carefully make your way down towards toes. Here, inhale, slide your hands up to your shins, your knees to extend your spine a long, flat back like a table. And exhale, we're going to fold again, make our way back down towards toes. Let's hold here for a few breaths. Perhaps each exhale, you just feel the body become a little bit more heavy. Hanging downward, hanging forward. Sort of like this rag doll feel of the body. Good, a little sway of the upper body might feel nice. Maybe a little circle of the sh shoulders. Nod yes, shake your head no. Just another check in with the body, 
in this posture. Go ahead and come back to center. You're just going to do another halfway lift. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or knees, extending your spine long, flat back. Exhale, fold. You're going to root back into your heels, bend your knees, feel like you're going to sit down. Extend your arms out to the side, then inhale, rise up all the way, reaching into the air, big stretch. Then exhale, bring your hands to heart center or down by your side. Hold here for a moment, take a breath or two. Let's go ahead and continue. Just repeat that same sequence. When you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Just making it flow, but going at your own pace. Exhale, swan dive forward. Good bend of knees. Make your way down towards toes. Inhale, sliding hands up to these shins or knees, extending your spine. Exhale, fold, melting all the way down. Then that weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, look forward, extend your arms out to the side, then inhale to reverse your swan dive, coming all the way back up, reach up a little bit higher, exhale hands to heart or arms down by your side, good. Just hold here, take a breath or two. Good, we're just going to continue and add on to our sun salute. Whenever you're ready to move and inhale to sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, let's fold forward, good hinge of the hips, bending your knees, make your way down. And inhale, sliding your hands up the legs, long flat back. On this exhale, fold and bend, keep getting lower until you can place your hands on your mat in front of you and walk or step both feet back into your high push-up position or plank pose. We're gonna hold here for several breaths just to generate more strength and energy in the body here. Make sure you're pressing firmly into the ground with the hands so you feel that strong sense in the arms. Let's breathe in. As you exhale, just bend the knees a little, send your hips into the air, moving into downward facing dog. We'll just call that a shortcut from plank into down dog, which you can do any time in your practice, even as I instruct the full vinyasa. So while you're here in downward facing dog, feel free to hold in stillness or add some movement to the body. Yeah, a little pedaling of the feet might feel nice. Pressing one heel down, then the other. As the heel lifts, you might feel a stretch through the toes. As the heels press towards the ground, feel what's happening in the calf muscles perhaps. Certainly welcome to bend your knees. Yeah, a little movement and shift in the hips. Meanwhile, hands are still firmly connected to the earth, strong arms supporting the upper body. Go ahead and take three more breaths while you're in down dog. You might even come back to stillness in your downward facing dog. Settling in and then we'll continue. When you're ready, a nice full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, engage your core center, bend your knees, walk, step or hop both feet up to the top of the mat. Good, once you're there, inhale, lengthening through your spine. We'll call that monkey pose, exhale, fold. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Let's inhale, reverse swan dive, come up to standing, reach high. On this exhale, move right away into chair pose, utkatasana. Hold for a moment, sitting back, feel like your hips are reaching for the back edge of your mat, or your hands, your arms are reaching outward in front. Let's breathe in and exhale, once again, diving out of your seat, down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen spine, long flat back, monkey pose. Exhale, bend knees, hands to the earth when you're ready. Walk or step or jump both feet back, plank pose. Again, we'll pause for a moment. Feel the good length in the body and the strength in your body. Let's breathe in. This exhale, if you'd like, come down, finishing the push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Elbows bend, coming down in a straight line. You'll push into the floor with the hands, straightening the arms as you lift upper body, looking forward. You'll be in a back bend, up dog. And exhale, tuck your toes, lift your knees, then hips into the air, downward facing dog. Let's pause for just a moment as you settle in. Feel free to make any adjustments with hands and feet on the mat. Mm -hmm. Then let's continue. Let's inhale, extend right leg up behind you, just reaching long. There it is. And then as you exhale, stepping through, right foot comes up to the top of the mat, landing near right 
hand. Left heel turns to the floor, shifting the weight back into the foot so you feel balanced and centered on both feet. And then extend your torso long out over your right thigh. We'll inhale here, hinging from hips, rising up, facing forward, arms reaching up into the air, warrior one. Then we'll exhale just to hinge and fold, coming back down, plant the hands into the earth, slide your right foot back to meet the other. Now you can always take the shortcut to down dog or bend elbows, come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Elbows might squeeze in towards ribs as you come down. Inhale, good, upward facing dog or cobra, nice. And as you exhale onto your toes, lifting hips into the air, settling in, make those adjustments, perfect. And then just settle in, there it is. Other side when you're ready and inhale to extend the left leg up into the air, reaching for the wall that's behind you and your exhale to help you step through. That core engagement, left foot near left hand, right heel turns to the ground. Again, that shift of weight. So you're centered and balanced, long torso out front. Let's inhale, hinge from hips like you're, like you're opening the lid of a box. Reaching up into the air as you face forward, still moving, exhale, hinge and fold. Hands back down to the ground. Slide left foot back, plank pose. Take your shortcut to down dog or finish that vinyasa if you'd like. Chaturanga Dandasana as, the, as you exhale. Inhale for that heart opener. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Pause here for a moment. Take a breath or two. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take a seat. You'll bring your knees to the floor. Take a seat, get the legs out front here. Sit in the center of your mat here. Then we're gonna roll down onto the back. You're gonna lie down with knees bent and feet on the ground. And once you're here, just settle in, just disengage, relax for a moment, find breath. And these deep breaths just to help you to connect more deeply with the ground. Just a brief pause to disengage before we re-engage. We'll be moving into bridge pose. It's our first back bend. When you're ready, take a nice full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale to empty your belly. Using the energy now to lift hips right up into the air, right into bridge pose. You can stay just like this, simply lifting the hips, or if you want, maybe rocking the upper body left and right just a bit to get your arms and shoulders a bit underneath you. Yeah, you might find that the heart opens a little bit more, a bit more expansive in the chest area. You can even bend your elbows at 90 degrees with your fingertips reaching for the ceiling. This will create an L shape with the arms and your elbows or your, fore or your triceps really are pressing down into the ground and just notice if that helps you to lift a little higher or at least just support your pose. Keep breathing deeply while you're here. Just noticing the sensation, the activation of the body in this posture, this heart opening position. And take three more breaths. After the third breath, you'll just wiggle your feet forward a little bit, extend your arms into the air, and then just slowly making your way down to the earth. And once you've made that connection, extend your legs out front, reach your arms behind you, and reach in these opposite directions, just lengthening, yeah, stretching the body. Mm -hmm. And when you're done there, just draw both knees into chest, a little hug, gently start rocking forward and back eventually rocking your way up to seated until you come to boat pose. Now boat, we can always start with heels on the floor, which is something I like to do sometimes. Knees bent and really get that fully extended spine. Nice and tall, straight up and down. And then I lean back, starting to make this V shape in the body. And then as you lean back, it'll allow the heels or feet to float up into the air as we kind of step into the boat pose. What's great, great about this posture is a, is a wide range of things you can do with it. This is kind of typical for me in, in boat pose, knees bent, feet activated, holding on to the legs, length and spine. But you can start to, you can even release the legs, free up the hands, straighten the legs, reach up, whatever you want to do here. We are going to stay here a few more breaths since this is our core work. And inhale to feel breath, rise up to fill up your lungs. 
that exhale to uh, engage core. So we're gonna move on this one, so breathe in. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front if you can, or even to the side so you can step the feet back or hop back plank pose. Hold here, keep feeling that activation of core. Now we're going to right side plank, which means your right hand will stay on the floor as the left hand swings up into the air. You're gonna be facing the left side of the room. Now here, we've got some options as well. You can stack the legs, stack your feet, and I would suggest flexing the feet that will activate the legs. If you need to, you can always place the right knee on the ground, and if you do so, make sure it's directly underneath your hip for a little extra balance. This is side plank, Vashistasana. Let's breathe in. Exhale carefully, return to plank pose. If you need to rest, please feel free to do so here. Otherwise, go ahead and open up to the other side, left side plank. So left hand stays on the floor, opening up towards your right side of the room. Good. Nice, very strong sideways pose. It's not an easy position. For strong balance, if the legs are straight, flex the feet, stack one leg on top of the other, or even stagger the feet one in front of the other. Feel the right hip lifting up into the air. There you go. Beautifully done. Breathe in. Exhale, turn. Let's bring that right hand back down to the floor, back to plank pose. Just take a shortcut here to downward facing dog. Yes. Okay, we're going to get off the hand. So let's inhale, extend right leg up behind you. Bend and twist open. Bend the knee, a little lift of the knee for a hip opener and twist. You're going to exhale and unwind and step through for warrior one prep. So right foot down, left heel turns to the floor behind you. Long spine. Here's the warrior one movement. Inhale, yeah, rising up. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Yeah, arriving in the posture. Make adjustments with the feet underneath you as you need to. Just solid and strong. Yeah, nice long tall torso. Extended arms out to the side here. Energy through your fingertips. And then a side angle pose, reaching forward to angle the upper half of the body, rotating your arms, feeling free to stay up high in the pose or going low if it feels okay on your body today. Fingertips might touch the ground, of course, they don't have to. You might be high enough where your right arm might be bent and resting lightly on your thigh. Meanwhile, left hand is reaching up and even starting to feel like you're reaching behind you, just so you feel like your torso, yes, opens a bit more towards the left side of the room. Let's breathe in, your exhale to turn, hands to the floor, step back, plank, pause as the body realigns. Then a shortcut again to down dog, soft knees, hips into the air. Ready for the other side. And inhale to extend the left leg up into the air. Hold for the extension for a second and then bend your left knee, bring heel down towards backside, lifting the knee. That'll provide a little twist, really more of a hip opener. Breathe in. As you exhale, unwind it and step through. Left foot forward, landing near left hand, right heel turns to the ground. Find that balance, long torso rise when you're ready. Inhale, warrior one. You're gonna exhale and open to the right side of the room for warrior two. Making the adjustments with the feet. Feel balanced, feel strong, feel centered. Tall, long torso, arms parallel to the ground. Then our side angle, reaching forward to angle the upper half of the body. There's the rotation of the arms. Once again, feeling free to stay up high in the pose on this side, or if it feels okay, going low enough where you might touch the ground, or just somewhere in between. That's nice. Good opening there, heart very open. Good. Hips also feel like they're moving towards the right side of the room. Okay. Let's breathe in. The exhale to turn, bringing hands to the floor, step back into plank, pause for a moment. Feel free to take that same shortcut to down dog or finish the push up, come down, Chaturanga Dandasana, you can choose, going through the vinyasa. If you are, just take that into an up dog or cobra and exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. A nice full breath in. Your exhale, walk, step or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat, you'll end up in forward fold. Let's take a monkey pose, just lift up halfway or just find that extended spine. Exhale, fold again. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come to standing, reach up high. Exhale, arms to your side or heart center. Good. Hold for a moment. Take a breath. I'm going to move into some balance. Okay, we are working core, but core is going to help us with balance too. 
So finding balance on two feet initially. And if you're ready, start shifting weight over into your right foot. Root it firmly into the floor. You can even soften that knee a little bit. As you inhale, just feel tall and lengthen through your spine. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, engage core. Let's peel the left foot up, up off the ground. Flex the foot once lifted. Thigh is perhaps parallel to the floor. We're going to swing it out to the side there. Yes. And then placing foot somewhere on the inside of your standing leg. It could be high to inner thigh. Good. Or to your calf below the knee or even lower where your toes touch the ground. Let's go ahead and inhale and sweep the arms out and up reaching into the air. Exhale, hold, but you're drawing belly in. Arms can be straight up, they can be out in a V, even more bent in the elbows. You can even bring hands to heart center. We're gonna hold here. Don't worry if you wobble or need to step out of the pose or even lose your balance. One thing that might help with balance along with breath is to find something out in front of you to focus on or even down low at the floor so that you, have, you can look at something that has texture color. Nice. Let's keep arms extended. We'll swing left knee forward, lifting knee, flexed foot. Let's plant the foot into the ground and bring the arms back down by your side or to heart center. Ankles in your way back to mountain pose, balanced on two feet. When you're ready, start shifting weight into your left foot, root down strongly with a soft knee. And inhale to get tall and lengthen through the spine. Yeah. Exhale, core centered, really preparing for that balance so you can just float the right foot up, flexed foot, thigh parallel to the floor, swing the knee open. You can even be at an angle, that's fine. Placing foot somewhere on the inside of the standing leg, high, medium, or low. Once you're ready there, an inhale to sweep the arms out and up into the air. Initially, they might be straight up, but you might adjust that where your arms are more at an angle, bent elbows, beautiful, or hands to heart center. Finding something to focus on out in front of you or down low. Mindful of the breath. There's still a, a feeling of breath rising to fill up your lungs. You exhale to engage center. There you go. Nice, good focus, good centering. Keep the arms as they are. Let's swing the right knee forward, lifting knee, flexed foot. Plant the foot into the ground. Arms can come down to your side or heart center. Again, once you're complete, kind of walk that out, shake it out in the arms and shoulders if you'd like. Nice. Let's prepare our Continue with our flow. We're gonna add a little twist here. Let's go ahead and inhale and take the arms up into the air. Exhale, take chair pose. And as you're taking your seat, bring hands to heart center. And just find a good seat right there. Maintaining a good extension through spine. We're gonna inhale and exhale, just twist to your right. Doesn't have to be too far, just a nice rotation of the upper body to the right side of the room. Left elbow will start to dip downward as the right elbow starts to tip upward. Being sure you're still balanced and centered in, the, in your lower body. Mm -hmm. Even distribution of weight on both feet. Because sometimes as we turn, everything starts to shift a little bit. So just be mindful of that. Good job. Yeah, breathing in. We're going to exhale to unwind back to center. Place hands on thighs. Press into the thighs to help you stand. Reach up into the air to get nice and long. We're going to exhale to take chair pose again. Good. And bring hands to heart center, settle in. A little weight shift into the heel so you can easily tap your toes. That will just take some of the pressure, perhaps away from the knees. Mm -hmm. Let's inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale, now twist to your left. A little rotation, doesn't have to be much. Now you might be rotating enough where you might be low enough and rotating enough where the yeah, right elbow might even come to touch the outside or the knee or thigh. Okay, if that's the case, being sure the hips are still directing yourself back, even distribution of weight. You can always unwind if you feel like you're rotating too far or it's, it's taking those hips out of alignment. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. We'll take a third breath, inhale, exhale, unwind. Hands to thighs, press into the thighs, just to help you stand. We're gonna flow from here, reach up into the air, and exhale, swan dive. 
and inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose, come down if you like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Going at your own pace, we're just gonna add on. Nice, in inhale, up dog, and your exhale into downward facing dog. We're gonna add an element here. Let's inhale, extend right leg up into the air, bend and twist open. The exhale, listen, you're gonna bring the right knee underneath you towards your left elbow. Right knee points towards left elbow, yes. And then take the right leg back up into the air behind you. And right foot to the top of the mat, back to warrior one. Left heel plants to the floor, find that balance, long spine, inhale, rise. Warrior one, exhale, opening the warrior two with a quick adjustment of the feet. Right away, side angle, reach forward, angled, rotate arms, right hand down, left hand up. Nice inhale to continue the opening of heart and hips. Exhale, turn, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose, keep right foot lifted. So we're here, plank, right foot's in the air. Inhale, just get a little longer in the body. This exhale, bring right knee towards right elbow, just straight ahead, point towards right elbow. Take it straight back, you're still in plank. Right foot still lifted, now finish Chaturanga. As you come down, you can lower the foot and leg to the floor, then up dog, and your downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, extend left leg into the air, bend and twist. Exhale, left knee underneath you towards your right elbow this time. Little, I call this core twist. Left knee, to, oh sorry, left knee towards right elbow. Inhale, take that left leg straight and up into the air, down dog. Warrior one with an exhale, stepping through. Left foot lands up top, right heel turns to the ground, long torso. Inhale, let's rise up, reach into the air, yes. Exhale, opening, warrior two. Quick adjustment, side angle, reach forward, rotate. Inhale, just to expand and open. Exhale, turn, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose, left foot lifted, hold. Arrive in the posture, inhale, get longer. Then exhale, left knee towards left elbow. Take a straight back, stay in plank, left foot lifted. Keep the left foot lifted, chaturanga. As your heart comes down, then you can lower the leg and foot. Then your up dog and downward facing dog. Let's go back to boat. If you're able, hop forward, cross legs to take your seat, like so, then right away into boat pose. You can always hold on. Get that lengthened spine. Now you can, again, you can hold on to the legs, or if you're able, release legs. We're gonna add a little movement here. You're gonna inhale, push your feet forward and lean back just a little. Exhale, bring chest and knees towards each other. It's a little crunch. Inhale, push away, lean back. Exhale, bring it in, one more. Inhale, push away. Exhale, pull it in, stay here. As you inhale, just lift up. Exhale, cross legs. I got my hand caught under my leg here. <laughs> Hands in front, step back, plank pose. Shortcut to down dog. All right, let's take a pause here, bring knees to the floor. If you're able, sit back into hero. Or just take a regular seat, yeah, get a sip of water. I'm gonna show you a transition that we're gonna do, so you can just watch. All right, let's see. I'll do it from, I'm gonna go from warrior two, my left side like this. My warrior two, right into a side angle. Just watch me. So I'm gonna take this to a side plank. So I'm in my warrior two left side, right hand's in the air. As I inhale, I extend more. Exhale, turn, bring this right hand to the floor. Now my right foot behind me, I don't know if you can see it, but my toes are pointing away, okay, out to the right side, which is natural, of course. But I'm gonna rise up onto toes, heel lift, and just spin the whole leg until the toes are facing the opposite direction, right there, which is gonna kind of torque the body. So I'm gonna slide this left foot back, stack the legs, and I've opened up into a plank or side plank pose. And then we'll just come back to plank. Okay, so let's try those. Whenever you're ready, maybe come back to hands and knees from hero. When you're ready, tuck toes, lift knees and hips, down dog. We'll start with the right leg. You'll inhale, extend right leg up into the air, straight line, then bend and twist open. Go ahead and unwind it, step through, warrior one. Left heel plants, balanced. 
Rise up, inhale, good. Exhale, open it to warrior two. I'll meet you in warrior two here. Take our side angle, right hand down, left hand up into the air. So we're going to left side plank. So we're gonna inhale first. Exhale, turn to bring the left hand to the floor. That back foot, just spin on the toes until the toes are facing the right side of the room. And then slide the right foot back, stack the leg on top of the other, or even stagger the legs, that's fine too and you'll be in side plank. Breathe in, exhale, turn to plank. Take a shortcut, down dog. Step into place. Other side, inhale, extend left leg into the air. Bend and twist. We'll exhale to unwind it and step through. Left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Rising when you're ready, there it is. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Mm -hmm. Side angle pose, reaching forward, left hand comes down, right hand up. Okay, we're going to right side plank, so right hand will plant. We'll breathe in first. Exhale, turn to bring the right hand to the floor. That back foot will spin on the toes until toes are facing the left side of the room. And then slide the left foot back so you can stack the legs or stagger the legs. Left hand will just reach up into the air, opening you up sideways. Yes, a left hip is lifting towards ceiling, belt buckle or your low belly is kind of moving forward towards the left side of the room as well. Let's breathe in, exhale, return to plank pose. Finish with Chaturanga Dandasana. Bend in the elbows to bring chest down. Inhale to open chest with a back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Let's take another seat. You can take a seat there. Maybe just come to a regular seat. We did hero the first time. Here, go ahead and take a seat and maybe find, maybe how about cobbler's pose, bound to angle, just for a little, something a little different here, mm -hmm. just for a little hip opener. Okay, nice and tall, and just stay tall in the seat because I'm gonna demonstrate our next part. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be in left side plank. We got there from the warrior two in side angle poses. Now I'm gonna bring this right arm, I'm gonna bend this right arm that's in the air to the floor. So I'm gonna inhale, open, exhale, bring, bend this elbow and bring the forearm all the way down to the floor at a good angle for balance to reopen into a side plank, but I'm just on the elbow, like that. Inhale here, exhale, I'm gonna bring this arm to the floor. Now the arms here on the floor, if you can see them, I'm at a triangle or you can have them parallel, doesn't matter. And so you're just gonna be in this position for a little bit. And then we'll take a little pause, bring knees to the floor, and then maybe just do a, a quick child's pose before we come to the down dog again, okay? So since you're in cobbler's pose, let's just flow from here. Let's bring the knees together, lean back, lift feet, just come to boat pose. Let's do that same little crunch we did earlier. So you can inhale, push feet forward, lean back. Exhale, crunch, Ch chest to knees. Inhale, push away, lean back. Exhale, crunch, one more time. Inhale, push away. Exhale, crunch, stay here. You're gonna inhale, just get long in the spine, lift. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front, hop back, plank pose. Just take a shortcut to down dog. Let's inhale, take right leg up. Bend and twist. Let's go right knee, left elbow, right knee to left elbow. Take it back up into the sky. Warrior one, right foot to the top of the mat, left heel plants into the ground. Balance, long spine. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Side angle pose. Rotate the arms, right hand down, left hand up into the air, inhale. We're going to side plank. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Spin the left foot around. Step right foot back, stack. Left side plank, inhale. Here comes the new part. Exhale, bring the right forearm to the floor. Slowly landing, carefully landing. Opening up to the left side of the room. There you are. Side plank on elbow, inhale. Exhale, bring the left arm to the floor. Stay here, I'm gonna call this dolphin plank. Right here. Let's hold here, because this also is a great core engager. Three breaths. And then we'll take a pause, bring knees to the floor, even take them a little bit wider, and then sit back, 
hips towards heels, arms can extend out front, forehead might even touch ground for three breaths. Take some deep breaths here, even breathe expansively into the back body as best as you can. Here we go, just gonna rise back up to hands and knees. Tuck toes, lift knees and hips, down dog. Come to the other side. Inhale, extend left leg into the air. Bend and twist. The exhale, bring left knee underneath you towards right elbow. Good, take that left leg back up into the sky behind you, down dog. Left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Once you've landed, right heel turns to the floor. Balance, that's it. Inhale, rise. Exhale, opening, warrior two, adjusting. Side angle, reach out over left thigh, angled upper body, rotate arms, left hand down, right hand up. Your inhale here, exhale, right hand to the floor, going to right side plank, right hand comes down, spin the toes behind you, slide that left foot back, stack them, open up, left hand into the air, heart opens, breathe in. Now the new part, exhale, bend left arm to bring left elbow and forearm to the floor, land lightly so you can open up to the right side of the room again. Stacked legs, right arm up into the air. Even here, it's okay to stagger the legs. That left knee can even come down to the ground if you need to. Breathe in, you're good. Exhale, turn right elbow to the floor. Hold here, dolphin plank. So you're in plank pose, you just happen to be on your forearms. Perfectly fine to have the hips slightly lifted right there so you don't feel like you're gonna sink or collapse. Wherever you are, you still wanna feel core engagement, okay? So belly button is drawing up towards spine. Bring knees to the floor, child's pose. Take a little pause there, good job. Very good. Three more breaths here. slowly you'll just bring the hands back out in front there come up to hands and knees taking your time with this transition eventually making your way back to downward facing dog and we're going to add another transition here so we're going to inhale extend the right leg straight up right knee right elbow take it back to down dog straight leg up into the air and then right foot to the top of the mat high lunge so left heel will stay lifted, all 10 toes pointing forward. We still wanna find that balance. Long spine, then inhale, hinge from hips, rising up, reaching into the air. So here's our high lunge. Hold for a moment for a little balance. Reaching high, lunging low. Then we're gonna hinge forward about 45 degrees, start shifting weight into right foot so you can step forward into chair pose. As you do so, bring hands to heart center. Inhale here, exhale, twist to your right. We're not gonna be here too long. You're just gonna inhale right where you are. Exhale, unwind and fold. Maybe fingertips touch ground or toes. Re-extend spine, monkey, inhale. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the floor, step back, plank pose. Just go ahead and take a shortcut to down dog. Good, okay, so this is our new transition. Let's do the other side. So an inhale to extend left leg into the air. Left knee, left elbow as you exhale. Leg back up into the sky, inhale, down dog. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Right heel stays lifted, finding balance. Hinge from hips, inhale, rising up, there it is. Reaching up, lunging low to help with some stability there. Even though the legs are part, are apart, to squeeze the inner thighs towards each other, towards center, disengage the legs so they feel strong. You're doing that with belly, of course. Even arms, even if, even if the arms are bent, it's like they're hugging inward. We're gonna hinge forward about 45 degrees, shifting forward into left foot. Step forward, bring hands to heart center. Chair pose. Inhale for lengthen spine. Exhale, draw belly in and twist to your left.
Inhale right there. We're going to exhale to unwind, fold, monkey pose, fold again. Just stay in forward fold. We're going to come up to standing. So shift weight into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come up nice and tall, reach into the sky. Exhale, hands to heart or arms down by your side. Take a moment if you like to shake all that out. Alrighty, I think we've got all the components for our flow. Nice and tall, finding stillness, mountain pose, checking in with breath. And here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Monkey pose, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the floor. Hop or step back, plank pose. Come down right away if you like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's inhale to extend right leg up, bend and twist. Exhale, right knee towards left elbow, core twist. Inhale, take that right leg back up into the air behind you, down dog. Warrior one on the exhale. Stepping through, left heel plants, find balance. Inhale, rise. Exhale, open, warrior two. Side angle, reach out. Rotate the arms, right hand down, left hand up. Still moving, breathe in first. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Going to left side plank, spin the toes behind you. Slide right foot back, stack it on top of the other. Inhale, reach and open. Exhale, right elbow comes to the floor. Spin open to the other side of the room again. Side plank on the elbow. Inhale to open it. Exhale, both arms to the floor, dolphin plank. Hold. We're going to add one element here. Keeping elbows on the floor, soft knees, send hips into the air. You might need to tiptoe forward a bit. You'll be in dolphin pose. Now we're moving back into down dog. So you can certainly bring the knees to the floor first so you can kind of pop back up onto the hands. Or if you're able to, just come back up onto the hands so you'll be in down dog. Inhale, re-extend right leg up, right leg up again. Right knee, right elbow. Take it back up into the sky, down dog. Right foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Find the balance, all 10 toes pointing forward, lengthen spine. Inhale to rise. Reach high, lunge low, hug to center. Hinge forward 45 degrees, shifting weight into front foot, step forward, chair pose, hands to heart center. Inhale for length, exhale, twist to the right. Still moving, inhale just to get more extended through the spine, even in the twist, exhale, unwind, fold. Monkey, inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose. Come down, Chaturanga Dandasana. We're moving towards the other side. Chaturanga, nice. Inhale, up dog, open heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Settling in. Here we go. Inhale, extending left leg up into the air, bend and twist. On the exhale, left knee comes underneath you towards right elbow, core twist. Left leg back up into the sky behind you, straight line. Left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. Right heel plants. Rise high, inhale, exhale, open, warrior two, nice. Side angle, come forward, tip it over, left hand down, right hand up. Inhale for that expansion. Exhale, right hand to the floor, right side plank. Spin the toes behind you, slide left foot back, stacked. Open up sideways, inhale. Exhale, left forearm comes to the floor, opening up sideways again while right arm extends into the air. There's our in-breath. The exhale to bring right elbow to the floor to match the other dolphin plank for a moment. A couple of breaths just to get into that alignment, core strengthening. And you'll tiptoe forward, hips into the air, dolphin pose. So yes, you're still on your hands, forearms, and elbows for a little bit. Okay, good. Making your way to down dog. You can certainly bring your knees to the floor first to bring to pop back up onto the hands, relift knees, hips into the air. Let's re-extend left leg up into the air. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Little core work right there. Left leg re-extends back up into the sky, down dog. Left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge, right 
Heel stays lifted, all 10 toes. Good, nice balancing, rise up. Good, reach high, lunge low, hug to center. Hinge forward 45 degrees, shifting weight into left foot so you can step forward into chair pose, hands to heart center. Breathe in, exhale, twist to your left. Nice. Breathing in again. Exhale, unwind and fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold and bend, hands to the floor, hop or step back, plank pose. Once again, come down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, which is actually a nice stretch for the abs right there. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna return to boat pose. Hop forward, cross legs, take a seat, or just kneel down to take your seat. Right away into boat pose. <sighs> Holding on if you need to, just to ensure an extended spine. You can remain holding onto the legs or release. Let's do our core crunch. Inhale, push feet forward, lean back. Exhale, crunch, knees towards chest. Inhale, push away, lean back. Exhale, bring it in. We're gonna do it two more times. Inhale, push away, lean back. Exhale, bring it in. Last time, inhale, push away, lean back. Exhale, crunch, hold. Here we go, breathe in. Exhale, just bring feet to the floor. Cobbler's pose. Maybe an extended spine, inhale. Exhale, fold, if you'd like. Really just an opportunity to not only open the hips in this pose, but maybe a nice rounded back feeling. A little stretch for the, some of those muscles. Because sometimes we think of core as just our front body, our abdominal system, you know, in the front body. But don't forget core is your whole torso, so that it certainly includes your back body. Let's take three more breaths here. Slowly rising back up to help re-extend spine. I'm gonna lie down again. So just carefully rolling down, making sure you're sitting in the center of your mat. Once you're down, go ahead and bring knees to chest. If it feels good, add some movement here. Whatever feels good, just whatever is natural for you. If, for me, I'm just taking a simple Rock left and right. I like to add a few circles, both directions. And since the feet are free, maybe a little circle of the ankles. That can be good for the ankle joints. Let's move into shoulder stand. I'm gonna give you some variations of this extension. You can even just extend the legs straight up into the air. You can stay flat on your back if you want and just extend legs in the air like this. Or if you're going to shoulder stand, you can do a modified version where you're rolling back. I'm actually gonna rock forward and back a little bit. Rock so I can take the legs and hips up into the air, catch my hips in my hands. My hands really stay at my belt line and I'm literally just sitting in my hands, kind of propped up on my elbows. This is a nice variation of the posture. The legs, you know, aren't straight up and down. They are in the air, but they're just not straight up and down, nor do they need to be. I like this pose because it keeps the neck somewhat free, okay? If you do want to go a little further, you're certainly welcome to. You would just walk your hands towards the center of your back, freeing up the hips and pelvis, to then allow the legs to extend straight up into the air. Now I'm in that pose at the moment, but it's a little stressful on my neck. So I'm gonna come back to the variation of the pose where I'm just sitting in my hands, where my hands are at my belt line and it just takes that pressure off the neck. I would truly advise using a blanket or something soft underneath the upper body when you're doing shoulder stand pose. If you are in shoulder standing, you feel fine, 
Maybe bring the toes down behind you. Now you can always bend your knees a whole lot. Bring the toes down behind you. They may touch the ground behind you, but they don't have to. Again, being very mindful of how this feels on the neck and shoulders. Two more breaths. Out of, we're going to roll our way out of this pose, coming all the way down to the floor, legs in front, like you're doing Shavasana. We're going to go into fish pose. We're just going to set this up so legs are long out front, arms are probably just down by your side initially. But you're going to lift one side, take your, I'm doing my left side first, so I'm sliding my left arm completely underneath me, lying on it, and then doing the other side. Okay, so I'm, I'm lying on my arms, straight arms, underneath me, I'm pretty much sitting on my hands. Then I re-extend the legs, maybe point the toes. With a good exhale, I'm just kind of putting some pressure into the ground with my elbows to lift upper body. And then tip the head back, bringing the crown of the head lightly to the floor so I can see the wall behind me and everything's upside down. This is fish pose. This is a variation of the pose. You can certainly be propped up higher on the elbows where your head does not touch the ground at all, okay? Just a couple breaths here in this style of a back bend. Great for the throat chakra. One more breath to come out of the pose. Lift the head, tuck chin in towards chest so you can lie back down. Release the arms out from underneath you. Briefly here in Shavasana. Good, and then bring both knees into chest. Let's take happy baby pose. Knees out wide, feet towards ceiling. Hold static or a little movement here, again, if that feels good for your body at the moment. You can certainly choose a different hip opener. You can even do reclining cobbler's pose, bringing the feet together, setting the feet down onto the ground. It's a little bit more relaxed, but the hips still open. So you can choose that pose instead or in addition to your happy baby pose. Maybe three more breaths. And when you're complete with your hip openers, you might bring the knees together, hug them in towards your heart. Let's add one more pose, just to find a spinal twist. Let's take knees over to the left side while you extend right arm to the right side of the room. As we're coming to the close of our practice, just kind of think about what we did today. Some core work, some dynamic flow and movement of the body. Core strengthening, core stability. Two more breaths. You can slowly return to center, pause in center for a moment, just allowing the spine to realign. And you can take the knees down to the other side when you're ready, left hand reaching across the room, settling in. breaths.
complete and bring the knees back to center. Pause for a moment and then extend the legs straight out in front of you, arms down by your side as you make your way to Shavasana. Just settle in, make any adjustments in the body so you can just completely melt uh, right into the earth. Finding stillness, returning to the awareness of your breath, feeling, feeling that calming effect of the breath. Return to the awareness of your breath. Slow, steady breaths. Once you've become reacquainted with your breathing, take five slow, deep breaths, allowing these breaths to bring energy and movement back into your body. a new sense of strength that you gathered during this practice today. Feel movement return to your body. Some time after your fifth breath, moving very slowly, carefully roll onto either side of your body into a nurturing pose. A brief pause there, just a reminder that it's good to take care of yourself. And still moving in slow motion, slowly rise, coming to a seated posture taking your time. And once you're here, you can bring hands to heart center, nice length in spine, a deep breath. And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste.